Sonuki Ayodhya, part of the organizing committee of Mobitel uh, Sri Lanka. Uh, can you give your thoughts about the process that went into registering people and how it went about? Can you give your thoughts about it? Uh, because at the moment you have got a large capacity crowd here. With, yes. Uh, so we can you tell us the <laughs> beginning story of it? Okay. Uh, first of my, all, my boss came and said we are going to do a Google I.O. event, extend 2013 Colombo event. Right. So we just get together and planned how we are going to do it. Then uh, we used Google Plus for our communication media as a communication, and we get uh, do some advertising materials like paper advertisements and online advertisements. Right. We used mainly Google Plus and send uh, through emails to our friends and colleagues, office colleagues to uh, communicate with the publicity. Uh, then we got the number of applications, registrations and all those stuff. After also closing this event, uh, most of people wanted to come. Right. But uh, we What was the duration from start to finish? How, how soon? How earlier? Uh, what was the time period for you all to start about uh, with this? Like uh, was it two weeks two, back? Or? Yes. So it was a very short time that short you, you were able to organize it. Yes. So uh, and uh, what do you feel about the uh, crowd that came in today? Uh, because Actually, sometimes when you I, normally go for online, yeah. when we say we are going for online events, sometimes most of them don't make it. Yeah. But here it looks like we have an at least an 80% or more, Actually, or even more, more, more than even that. More okay. than 80%. So close to 100% uh, yes, presence close is to 100%. there. Right. So what are your thoughts about that? And it's uh, unbelievable. Uh, it's unbelievable. It's uh, actually we didn't we didn't thought we will get this crowd. When we saw the entrance, it's a full of crowd, then we were so happy, we were surprised because uh, in Sri Lanka this is the first time we are doing, so we were actually uh, kind of afraid to do this, we were thinking, thinking whether the people is coming because this Sri Lanka it's night, to the US it's morning. So we were in and it's it's on a weekday, it's a so it's weekday. going on till seven o'clock in the morning when yes, people have to go to course. work the next day. But it's surprising. Uh, it's actually I'm so happy. We are so happy right. as Mobita committee. We are so happy now. Right. Okay. And uh, what do you think about the technology that you have used for registering and we uh, used uh, NFC technology to right. registering purpose because it's very easy. Uh, the our custom base, it's like all the participations only have to do the tap the tap their ID. Yeah. Uh, then all the their T-shirt size, food uh, preference, all the those are coming as a, we can see from app. So you have actually used technology to yes. organize this event and to take it and to be properly organized. Yeah, there's no uh, paper works. There's right. no hard copies. All the is systematic things. Right. And um, if you take uh, if you uh, after this event, uh, do you uh, does Mobitel hope to get involved in more IT related events because there is a very good developer communi community yes, who are, are very going. much engaged in such activities. So you'll be, we, we would be looking forward to many more events organized by Mobitel. Yeah, for say. sure we are doing more and more events for our people. Right, okay, thank you very much, Sonaki. Yeah. Thank you. Just two weeks back or last week, we announced very interesting 10 names. And this is important for all of you guys. I believe most of you are still students. And these are the names we have selected for 2030 to be the Google Student Ambassadors for Sri Lanka. This is a very interesting one for the simple reason that these 10 will represent Google in numbers. So we are going to bring them to Google offices in Singapore. They are going to 
kind of get one week experience with all of our products and all the experience they could get. And this is the first time we brought this. So I just want to have a one round of applause for all the winners from all these places. Thank you. And guys, we have to be proud of this. And to all of you contributed to this one. This is the first ever doodle we did for last year. And I wanted to tell you, I know there was the social media was buzzing on this day. People are taking credit, but I wanted to tell you, this is all of us contributed to this. Each one of you in this room contributed to this. This is an important milestone where Google actually recognized a country like ours, not that it doesn't never recognize, but the fact that we are a small nation, but the fact that it recognized to be that by honoring us with the doodle, I think it's a big milestone for us last year. So I'm not going to talk for a long time. And uh, I want to say again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Mobitel. Thank each one of you. I'm going to be, it's going to be very, very exciting times. Make the most out of it. Have a lot of fun. That's really important. And we really look forward to 2030. That's next to one year. And I think my, the friends at Mobitel are still talking about how can we do even a bigger show for next year. We really look forward to it. Thank you for being here. I look forward to talking to you. I'll be throughout here uh, throughout the night. Thank you so much. The Google event with uh, Arnold Sripada, a very known uh, uh, Node uh, JavaScript uh, developer. Uh, can we get some feedback on today's event and what do you think uh, about the initiation done by Google? Yeah. Google is a mobile, right? Yes, Mobit, organized by Mobitel. Yeah, I think uh, this Google is a really good event yeah, because actually we cannot be into the USA to have a, such experience. Here we can get the same kind of but quite okay. And I think it's a really good place to meet each other. Each other because I came here because of the not to get into the technology and other stuff, but to meet my friends, the people who are working with remotely. Now I can meet you face to face. Right, so it's more of like a social net, yeah, uh, a network, like a networking, networking uh, attempt for you. So, uh, what do you think about the setup done by Mobitel? Was it how? What do you think about the organized? Uh, yeah. I never expected something like this. It's, it's kind of like Google I/O, like in there, but uh, I think it's really cool. Because they have the free foods and things and everything is there. So it is really great. And you are excited about the number of people who had attended it? Definitely. I thought it's so when I joined the it was about 600 people yeah, who had registered yeah, plus. I, I joined the, around 10 people there. Yeah. Right. I never checked their page for the, how many guys there, but I really, yeah, it's, it's a huge event. Right, so you were just saying it, it didn't matter how many people were attending, you definitely wanted to make it yeah, to definitely, this event. Definitely. I, I, I really like right. Google I.O. I definitely can, can watch it on YouTube, not yes, you, but I think this is a real close place. And uh, what can you, what kind of message can you give to Rohan and his team at Google for future events and for any other sponsors who want to take part along with Google? What, what are your first impressions and what, what kind of feedback can you give to them? For future events, what, what, what would you anticipate? No, I think, I think there are kind of things happening like Google Summer of Code. Yeah. So I think they are, they are going to the universities and they are talking about. I think they are doing a great job here. And I think recently Dialogue also partnered with Google and do something like free internet or something like that. I think they are doing something, but I think. Yeah. Is there anything that you find missing that you want? Because uh, most likely Rohan will be saying this video. Yeah. Uh, so here's an opportunity for you to <laughs> tell him something. <laughs> thing is that I cannot, uh, I'm thinking that what Google can do. Right here. I think best place is to, uh, yeah. Now, I think this Microsoft, Microsoft is taking over the universities. So they are sort of .NET and everything. I think they should focus on that part. The universities and they keep going to open source and uh, this, this kind of technology. They should focus on that because the developers in the university. I think that's a good point you made because yeah. just I think they're, they're, they just uh, selected 11 student ambassadors uh -huh. just like they have with the Microsoft yeah. student ambassadors, student champs. They have, but they will be announcing it. So I think that is what you are talking about. So to have student ambassadors of Google. Yeah, not, not, not yeah, it's, it's a kind of initiative, but uh, I'm saying, yeah, this, yeah, kind of. Because people and already Google has come up called, uh, Morotua yeah, is Morotua. leading it worldwide as well. Yeah, yeah, I know. So uh, you feel that there is still more opportunity yeah. for uh, more open source? Yeah, yeah. Not in the students level, but in the, at the university core level. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm talking about like, this. If you talk about our university, the people tend to use, uh, lectures and everything tend to use dot .NET and my right. I'm not saying those things are bad, but there's a world beyond that. Okay. People have to know about that. Okay, thanks a lot Arnold for your valuable comments. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. First,
I was very, very lucky growing up. And I was thinking about this last semester and preparing for this uh, little I.O. My dad was really interested in technology. And uh, I was just remembering, he actually drove me and my family all the way across the country to go to a robotics conference. And I went there, and he thought it was so important that his young son go to the conference. And one of the few times I've seen him really argue with someone to get at someone of their age. Successful then to the conference. So on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being uh, very good, how much would you rate for this event? Uh, I'll give it 8. Okay, thanks a lot, Rajiv. Right, sure. Well, good morning and hello. Let's get this keynote started. I think we are in the middle of one of the most pivotal moments. These are two pictures in the same location, but you look at the one on the right, a sea of phones capturing that moment. 900 million. We couldn't have gotten there without the help of a lot of you in the audience and people around the world, developers around the world. But we have to remember, there are over seven billion people on this planet. So we have a long way to go, and we think the journey is just getting started. We recently launched a redesigned version of the Google Play Store. You know, in the run-through, we didn't put a picture of a more handsome man behind me up on the screen, but uh, that, I guess that's fine. We set out to build a music service that didn't just give you access to a world of music but also helped guide you through it. What if we gave you access to millions of tracks from our store, your personal library blended with ours? That's all access. We talked about 900 million Androids, 40 billion app installs, a bunch of new tools and developer services that help you build awesome apps. This is a Samsung Galaxy S4 running Android 4.2 Jelly Bean with the same software experience that we ship on our Nexus devices. It's Google's take on Android. This version of the Samsung Galaxy S4 that works on both AT&T and T-Mobile with LTE support. It is bootloader unlocked. Uh, will be on sale starting on June 26 on Google Play for $649. We're gonna give each and every one of you uh, a brand new Pixel. Uh, I've been asked to say it's not ready till 2 p.m., so please don't leave in the middle of the keynote. Today, I'm really excited to announce a new initiative. 
which will make it easy and affordable for schools to put Android tablets in the hands of all their kids. We are with the mobility team of Virtusa. Uh, can you introduce yourself and give us a bit of feedback? You're from your own customer. Kasun? Yeah, I'm Manoj from Mobility. And I'm Pahan from Mobility. Pahan, can you tell us a bit about the uh, event? Uh, what is the overall feel? Yeah, I think this is really great, like organizing such an event because uh, actually uh, for a Google IO Extended event in Colombo, this is for the first time and uh, I think it's a really good opportunity for uh, for professional developers as well as the as well as the member uh, developers to connect with the Google community. We never had this type of experience in our life before. So all of these earlier events you all watched online yeah. and now you all, you all get to experience the we same thing. We have what type of thing we are That's why we do with more than 500 other developers in one place, right? So, Kasun, what do you think about, uh, uh, has this event helped you? With your development work, do you see some kind of progress? Uh, new, new APIs and new, new studio at Android Studio. Those, those things we can use when we are developing the applications. Uh, so, such events, we have to, we have, we, you have, we all have to organize uh, like event like that for future as well. Right. Okay. So, uh, what can you say, Manoj, about uh, future events which Google is going to be having? Uh, better to have this type of events and meet every uh, month, meetups and hackathons. Uh, right. Then uh, we can uh, develop our uh, a more stronger community together. Yeah, development community. Okay. Thanks a lot from the mobility team at Virtusa. Today, we're introducing 41 new features across three major areas of Google+. First, a new, newly designed stream, a new Hangouts application, and a fundamentally new Photos experience. We have a point of view about software and technology, namely that it should get out of the way uh, and allow people to do what they do best. That's live, learn, and love. Frankly, even Google's own services have been fragmented uh, and, uh, and, and confused at times. So we're introducing today a new application, Hangouts. Group video at no charge. Isn't that fantastic? Now this is really hot. We just took it off the press this morning and I've actually never tried hot wording in a room with so much ambient noise. Show me things to do in Santa Cruz. Here are popular attractions in Santa Cruz. Absolutely amazing. You know, we use tablets, phones, laptops, and you know, even the Google Glass, all those things we're using. I'm tremendously excited about all the innovation that you're bringing to life. Technology should do the hard work so that people can get on with doing the things that make them the happiest in life. I have with me Hial Chatra Biagamage from Ceylon today. Uh, who's at the event of the Google uh, I.O. extended uh, session organized by Mobitel. Uh, Hial, can you tell us a bit about uh, your experience for, for the evening um, and uh, your thoughts about it? Uh, yeah, uh, so the event was a very good one actually now it is happening at the moment. So, so many uh, new technologies uh, were revealed uh, at the event and I was so excited about those because especially about they are a new uh, Android platform, uh, rather I would say 4.3. So there were so many technologies, huge experience, good exposure. Uh, yes, yes. And what do you think about the audience that came today? And they're still around, it's yeah, now past 11 o'clock. Yes, so. there was a, a huge uh, crowd uh, when we arrived at the uh, event. So still uh, they are there uh, because uh, so many events to come, so many new experiences to gather for the local developers, for the local Google lovers. So actually they must be enjoying it really well. And what do you think about the organization by Mobitel and uh, Rohan's team? Yeah. So, so uh, at this moment I would like to uh, spread my gratitude to Mobitel for organizing such an event for the first time, Google uh, extended, Google I.O. extended Colombo. So uh, actually uh, uh, we should mention, mention that uh, Rohan Javi of Sri Lanka's Google representative is doing a great job. Uh, he's promoting the country really well. So actually a great event. I think it's a great success. 
Right. And what do you think about future events like this happening in Sri Lanka? What do, do you see it benefiting for the developers in Sri Lanka, for them to stay in the country? There's there's a lot of campaigns going on for people now that the war is over and there's peace in the country. For people, for for people, for all the you know the skilled people to stay in Sri Lanka so that we can develop it. What do you think about such events, yeah. such as this happening in Sri Lanka for the promotion of that? Definitely, uh, so many opportunities are being created at the moment by Google. So uh, having uh, this kind of an event is uh, such a great exposure to, as I mentioned earlier, for the local developers. Uh, especially developers who are very engaged with uh, Google technologies such as Android platform and uh, G Plus and uh, people who are making Google Maps. So I think uh, these events are uh, rather I would say a catalyst for the for the local developers to stay in the country. So the human resource factor, we are talking about human resource factor so much that uh, the developers, the well-learned people should stay in the country. So uh, by these events, uh, those guys will be staying here and uh, they can experience a new technology special from Google. Right. Thank you very much, Shiel, for your valuable thoughts. Thank you, Digit. Thanks. Double A and S. So, <laughs> okay, so, so uh, you know, from that result, I managed to uh, select the IT faculty of uh, University of Ottawa, but I, uh, I really wanted to be a software engineer uh, to do computer engineering. So, I took the risk and I, I did the second try and uh, finally got selected to the University of Ottawa to uh, engineering uh, faculty. So after coming to the university also, I was fortunate to uh, select the computer science and engineering department. And there actually uh, we had to do a uh, project in the uh, third year. So uh, for that uh, project, actually I was really passionate, passionate on uh, developing software on local languages from my school age. Uh, for my A level project also I, I developed an uh, application that is a Sinhala uh, Biological Encyclopedia, so it is called Mahavya. So from that time I was passionate about making local language applications. So when I come to the university and when I supposed to do a project for my third year, I, I tried to, uh, I, I uh, wanted to uh, work on my passion, that is local language, uh, that is single software, basically. So uh, Android was there in the list of platforms uh, which we were supposed to build uh, develop uh, projects. So uh, to be honest, at that time, in 2010, I knew nothing about Android. So uh, finally, after researching on Android, I, I found that there's no uh, way, there's no method to uh, render similar Unicode characters on Android platform. I'm here with uh, two uh, developers, Anjula Malshan and Isuru Samar Singer. Uh, Isuru, what, do you, what's, what are your thoughts about the event uh, that's happening today? Actually, it is very helpful for a uh, user and an undergraduate like us. Uh, it was a good exposure that uh, watching uh, Google I.O. Y. And of course, there's a hackathon session and at the moment we are developing an Android application for that. So, really helpful. Right. What do you think about the audience that have uh, uh, turned up today? Did you get to mingle with uh, new people? Or, uh, did yeah. you get they make new connections? Yeah, of course. Uh, there were so many undergraduates from uh, most of the IT-related universities. Uh, some of them from uh, University of Morato and of course from Sri and University of Colombo. Actually, I may met some of new guys and uh, get to know each other as well as uh, we, we, had, uh, we had time to share our experience or like technological aspects. As well. So you were able to take grasp this opportunity to uh, further enhance your development uh, uh, time uh, with the other new developers so that you can gain more knowledge. Mm -hmm. So Angela, uh, what are your thoughts about the event? Yeah, actually uh, this is the first uh, event in, happening in Sri Lanka with Google and uh, Google I.O. So it's a brand new experience for Sri Lankans. Uh, so we are really enjoying it. And uh, my friend Isuru uh, participated in the hackathon and I like just his back up, trying to share his idea and giving uh, ideas. So right now you are participating in the hackathon which yeah, is which uh, you have been me. given? Uh, it's okay, Isuru. session. Okay, so, right. Isuru is so Isuru is spending four hours trying to develop uh, some a new idea, trying to uh, uh, put an idea into action okay. on the Android platform. Right, so that has really uh, so you're, you're very much glued to it now. Uh, yeah, 
So Angela, what do you think about uh, your, your thoughts as an experienced developer now in the field for how many years? If, uh, nearly uh, four years. Right, With, and you have a very good profile on free, freelancer, is it? Yeah. Right, so how has that helped you uh, and uh, what kind of uh, additional uh, uh, leverage has this event helped you in your for, for the development? Yeah, in freelancing, uh, basically what we are doing is applying for jobs and we are getting the jobs. So uh, clients are requesting uh, many and many uh, features for their application. So most of time uh, we are using that uh, Google uh, uh, applications and Google features uh, to their uh, websites and uh, other mobile stuff uh, to uh, easy their day-to-day -day, uh, website use and uh, other mobile applications. So uh, Google exposes... Uh, uh, much better improving day by day so it's really helpful for us so uh, yeah using Google as a uh, it's like an open source thing for us right uh, so basically we are using those stuff and uh, uh, I came here to get some knowledge about new products and new launches about them right uh, I hope uh, they will uh, launch that Android uh, 5.3 uh, line pie in this year so basically I am expecting that uh, but uh, couldn't uh, get a time to uh, watch that live stream, right? I'm here in Kisu to help in this uh, hackathon session. Right. Well, thank you very much, Anjali and Isuru, for your valuable thoughts. I was wondering what I can share with you all who know better than what you do, much more than me. So then I thought I will just extend a helping hand, if possible, as a mobile operator for the development community. Especially focusing on the economic growth of this country, which is a dying need at this moment. Especially after any war, now we are enjoying peace. We can see infrastructure is being developed. We can see new roads coming, highways coming, new airports, uh, harbors, and many infrastructure being developed. But still, we know there is a considerable number of underprivileged community in this country, especially in the rural areas. So I thought how we can help them or else how we can help you so that you can help us to build this economy to our mobile infrastructure. So when I look at the economic situation of the country, we see the broadband or internet access, broadband internet access will be a great leveler in addressing many factors which is spreading our economic growth. For example, when you look at our geography and the present situation of the network, uh, the present situation of the economic situation of the country, there is uneven growth in both geographically as well as in sectors. So in making this uneven growth, making it level and even, and at the same time uplifting this economy, we see major opportunity with ICT infrastructure and broadband internet access. I'm here with uh, Vinur Athakorala, uh, a developer, and uh, he's at the event. Uh, Vinur, you've been here from the start. What are your thoughts about the event? Well, it's, it's quite good because I've started my career as a developer and then I'm moving to a solutions kind of a person when I architecture solutions for people. So, looking at what uh, we have in offer for these guys, it's, it's really good. I think they can learn. And even for some of the things which I'm uh, designing, I came across few tips. So, not only for developers, beyond the developers, even for managers or whoever, the, whoever who's at high levels, it's, it's quite important. So you've been in the development uh, since uh, for now how many years? For five years? More than five years, I guess. More than five years. So when you started out, uh, there wasn't some kind of a, there wasn't a culture like what is happening now. No, not at uh, all. So what what kind of uh, uh, inspiration can you give to the developers who are coming out of university with all the events that are happening and such organized by uh, such as this one? Yeah. It's organized by Google. Uh, it's like this now. When I was a developer, when I was starting, we didn't have all these opportunities and we didn't have the time, we, we didn't have the opportunity to grow. But now if you're a developer, if you're coming out of university, you can grow, you can start your own thing, you can do your own thing and you can earn money. And probably as a country, we want uh, people like that, we want entrepreneurs coming up. 
and having their own businesses, new CEOs, new new, new companies. So it, it, it's 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 got to be. So you feel that events such as this will actually flourish entrepreneurship spirit exactly. among the new youth who are trying to make a name for themselves. Yep. That is your impression from the event. And what are your thoughts about the organization of the event? Your any uh, feedback for them? Yeah, organizing is quite good. This is in a way uh, happening for the first time, I think. So next time, I think we can do a better job. Right. But by and large, there have been no mistakes. It has been good from Okay, so uh, from a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being very good, how would you rate uh, the event today? Probably do 6.5. 6.5. Okay, thanks a lot, Venura, for your uh, valuable thoughts. We are here to uh, uh, launch a new Android application. Uh, hopefully, we can get the uh, laptop screen on the big screen. Yeah, uh, I think you guys put it to the actual me. Um, we are finance, we are in the mobile application development. Uh, the uniqueness of us, we, we, create a, we try to develop applications for all platforms, and we have applications in pretty much in the market, all market, uh, sorry, all, the, all market places, uh, uh, such as like you know, Google App Store and Android Play and Google Play. Uh, uh, it's pretty much, we have covered all the platforms. Uh, so before telling you all what, what application, we have developed. Uh, let me set the, uh, share some information with you on the, uh, the background of what motivated us to develop this particular application. Uh, you all know what Wikipedia is. It is one of a trusted source of information uh, online, uh, and encyclopedia available online, and, and it's a pretty trusted uh, place for information that you're looking for. Did I know this archive has over 20 million uh, articles in it, uh, over 4 million English language articles. Uh, the traffic to this site is amazing. Uh, 23 million page views per hour. Uh, per hour, right? 23 million page views per hour. Uh, and out of this, 15% is contributed by mobile devices, which sums up to 3.5 million uh, page views per hour through uh, mobile devices. Uh, we are in the arena of apps like the smartphones and apps are one of the key features in this. Uh, so pretty much anything that you can think of has an app. So Wikipedia can't be a difference. Uh, Wikipedia also has a series of apps uh, available for you so people can interact with it, use it, read articles uh, through it. I'm here with Danica Pereira from uh, Basha. Uh, Danica, what do you think about the event today? Yeah, actually the event was so exciting uh, as the first ever uh, Google I.O. extended uh, event in uh, Sri Lanka. So uh, we are all are here overnight uh, staying uh, with the team. So we are all so excited. Right, so as a developer and as a leader yeah. in the industry for app development, uh, what do you feel about the younger generation using this opportunity? Yeah, actually this is a really great opportunity because now we we, we, we are having the access to Google. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the Google representatives are there, they are now we, we have most of the opportunities uh, with the connection with the Google. So I, I think it will be a great opportunity to developers, uh, especially for uh, to address the, the issues we have currently as developers. Like in Google Play, we have some restrictions. So this is a great chance to get solutions for the those things uh, as Sri Lankan developers right and uh, basha's focus mostly has been on local uh, of course yeah. uh, lo uh, local uh, lo locality local language, local language applications, applications. Yeah. so uh, what kind of uh, push can you give to google to maybe get singhala also as a native uh, yeah, actually, uh, the the Sringha language is also in the queue of Google. What list, kind of barriers do you think they have to foresee for? You the know? thing is, I think the the market actually the market for uh, Sringha language mm -hmm. because uh, without uh, focusing on to Sringha, they they are there are there may be several languages in the in their list. Right. So it will it will definitely be there. 
right. but uh, still we have to wait uh, to uh, gain the market. Right. And uh, now in a few minutes you will be addressing the yeah, uh, vast audience. Yeah. Or can you give us a snippet from what you are uh, going to yeah, talk actually about? Actually, I'm, I'm going to talk about how to monetize Android applications in Sri Lankan context. You know okay. now Android applications can be monetized globally in various ways, but uh, the thing is now... You have Sri Lankan, and certain platforms Yeah, here. of course. But in Sri Lankan context, the thing is different now. We can't still uh, uh, publish paid applications on Google Play. That's like, right. In Sri Lanka, it's not allowed. Yes, of course. Still, there's this country restriction. So, I'm, I'm going to uh, speak about how it's, uh, in this, still in that uh, with, with, uh, with those challenges, facing those challenges, how we can address the market and uh, monetize our applications. Do you foresee uh, Google allowing Sri Lanka also to be added into the list of payments so that uh, people can actually make some kind of uh, uh, money from the apps that they make rather the than just distribute it for actually, free? Uh, we still can't uh, publish paid, paid apps, uh, that is we can't pay, uh, sell our apps. That's right. But uh, in other ways we can still make revenue, uh, like in advertising, advertising. Or, uh, using different uh, business Mechanisms, models. Yeah. yeah, business models. So the thing is now, if we if we uh, use innovative business models, we still can uh, monetize our application. So that's wh what I'm going to. That's what uh, you're going to be addressing discuss. today. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you very much uh, for your okay, valuable thanks thoughts. A lot. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Bye. Okay, I'm here with Naresh, a student from uh, Colombo University, uh, Hi. Colombo School of Computing. Yeah, School of Computing. Uh, Naresh, can you tell us a bit about your thoughts about the event? Uh, I should say, you know, uh, it's happening uh, in Sri Lanka for the first time. So it's, you know, a uh, really uh, exciting event, I should say. Uh, uh, in my personal thoughts, you know, uh, as, as, you know, uh, Sri Lanka in IT industry, it's really growing up, you know. Uh, when you take, you know, uh, Google is joining with us, it, it would be a really boost for us, you know. This event is kind of a big starter for us. Well, as a third year student from um, a public university, yeah. uh, what do you see the opportunities that these kinds of events uh, uh, portray for yeah. you guys? Because your meeting now is over 500 people attending here. Yeah, now you, a lot of them, some of them are your friends, some of them you're making new connections, yeah. and they're all developers. So yeah. what? how has this helped? As a uh, student of, uh, you know, uh, government university, we have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, uh, final year projects that we completed that you know if you take the trend now the uh, you know projects are based on Android or maybe Chrome maybe any uh, new technologies uh, you know the uh, technology includes the uh, biggest um, big of Google okay. so uh, uh, as a student, it's a great opportunity to, you know, uh, experience, I mean, hands-on experience on, uh, on those projects with these technologies. Of course, you know, making uh, new connections would really help in the future because, you know, you got to have a, you know, a big career in IT. Of course, that's, you know, a really helpful thought. Uh, for so, the do you, some, some people might even take this as an opportunity to maybe form partnerships and even co-found, yes, isn't it? Yes, uh, yes, uh, yes. Do you feel that, that that might also happen in events like this? Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, I think currently a uh, hackathon session hackathon is, is going on. on. So yes. Hackathon is all about, you know, creating, uh, you know, niche uh, ideas, uh, uh, creating ideas right. with, you know, uh, and sharing with group of people and, you know, it's kind of, you know, uh, the idea will grow up. So ultimately, uh, you know, people are interconnecting. So it's the ultimate goal of a hackathon. Right. So uh, if there's hackathon, uh, if there's hackathon is happening, of course there's, you know, a lot of chance for the new, uh, you know, uh, kind of uh, companies or ventures to come up. Right. Okay, thank you uh, very much for your thoughts, Navish. Krishanth Jayatilika, Krishanth, Dadaki, we have the final winner of the night. And the most eminent pioneer, we have Lassikra Sugandha Dasan. Yeah,
ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦਾ ਅਪੂਰ ਹੈ
of the research uh, at the end of an informative night and uh, the first ever Google I.O. 2013 extended in Sri Lanka powered by Mobitel along with Google. So I would like to thank Rohan Chavir from Google for all the support uh, given to us in putting this mammoth event together and a uh, big round of applause for Rohan as well.